Okay, I'm back. And what I want you to see is we have to set this up. Now, our sheet, our mat, is going to be how we look at it, okay? And whenever you're making something new, and let's see if I can't get this out all the way. Whenever you're making something new and you've made a design of some type, put it in paper so that you can, because it's difficult when you're doing it on the gypsy to remember exactly how things should lay out. So my left side should be the highest. Well, the left side should almost be as high as the center. The center is five and a half inches. This is going to be a little bit less, and the right side is going to be even a little bit less than that. But what we have to do is leave our base low enough. As you can see, this is about two inches right here. I've got to go up a little bit less than it, um, probably a three quarters to an inch above on my right side and here. So they have to be... So let's get this in and see what we can do here to put this together now. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit so you can see the board a little bit better. Move it over here. Now, I have this one already lined up with the left side, so I'm just going to, and the center is already, and you've got to play with this. You know that your widths are just about right. So first thing I do is I try to get my five and a half inches here. So what I start out by doing is just putting the center in and then tap the group button, highlight, and 5.27 is my height at this point, which is too high. So I've got to, well, take it off of that. I've got to tap this so that it's highlighted and move it down just a little bit. So group and I'm at 5.04 and I found that if you make this as large as possible when you move it then it moves a little bit less so then it did okay 5.01 that's as close as it's gonna get so I'm gonna leave it at that I know that my base right here is the right size I'm gonna tap on this bring it down and my left side is lining up. I left the right side because I don't want to take up too much time just lining things up for you. Okay, and I left, as you can see, I left some space because a little bit of the top is going to hang over there. Now, on this side, I don't have it lined up. I just enlarged it a little bit, and I want you to see what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this over until it lines up perfect with the edge. And I don't know if it is yet. Yes, it is. It's lined up perfect with that edge. See that right there? See how it's lining up perfectly with it? And then bring it up. There. Now see how I've got the step ladder all the way across. Now all I have to do is take my highlight button, take my right, take my left, take the center, and then I want to weld them together and preview it. Look at that. It's going to cut perfect. Now you need to just make sure that your sides line up. And if you put in, and what I did with this first is I lined up my left side and then I put my center in so I had a good idea of where it was. And I cut this left side a little bit larger because the actual width is supposed to be a 3.75, but if you remember, we made the box 3.87. So um, I knew that I had a hangover, a little bit of a hangover on that so that it would fit just right on there. Okay, now we have our box ready, our base of our card. Now we can go after the artwork. And I'm going to start, I took it off preview, by setting my cursor larger. And I think I'm going to need like about a three, I don't know, looking at this, it looks like the size of my thumb, one, two, about three and a quarter inches high. So I'm going to set my cursor by tapping the height button right there and tapping the numbers and set it for 3.25 okay 
then I'm going to go look for my cart and I want birthday bash. Birthday bash. And I want the little mouse in the package. And oh, where is he? I should have looked to see where he was on the... Um, I have the hardest time finding artwork. Do you have a hard time with it? Here it is, right on the top. It's key number one, two, three, four, five, six. Key number six is the little mouse. And then I take and I bring them over here and I enlarge this and let's see how good of a guess I did. Looks like I did pretty good. Width came out right and that was purely accidental. Height is about right. We'll bring them up just a little. There. Okay, I'm just going to let them sit there till I can figure out that if that's indeed what I want. Okay? It's low enough there. Now we need this piece of art. And that was the mouse on, what was it, page 60, I believe it was. And I don't, he's over here somewhere. There he is, right there. He's 10, 20, 30, 40, key number 40. And let's take a look at him. And see, yeah, we're going to end up cutting off part of his little tail that's for sure oh maybe not maybe not I can make him a little bit larger there we go drop him down a little bit and I just get him to fit right within that box but I see how I leave him hanging over a little bit so but we want it so the balloons will show up over there so we're good there okay we've got the mouse, we've got the other mouse, so we're real good there. Good, 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 good. Now, what I do is I'll hit the plus signs, and I had the mouse highlighted, and I just want to bring him on a page by himself, and I'm going to rename him, and I'm going to clear that and name it Mouse. Oh, you. S E, okay, and then I'm just gonna forget them about them right now and go back to my base, or not my base, empty. There, I had them on empty. This is kind of I actually made myself a template, um, and on my template I've got a base. See that, and I keep that. Okay, now. Um, we need to hide the little mouse thing so we don't see him through there. Now we need the balloons. And the balloons, I think we're on page 54. I'm looking off to my left on the, on the, um, um, in the booklet to find out where he is so I'm not spending a ton of time. Okay. So for the balloons, it's right here. And it's going to fit right in there. But I think I want the balloons a little bit larger. So that it really stands above. And I'll put, whoops, that's a little bit too big. I'll sneak a little happy birthday from another card. I don't like the happy birthdays that are on this one. They're too big, so... Okay, I put them up above here so that it doesn't get stuck in there when I start uh, grouping things together. I can move it aside. But I want to get the balloon. So I made another layer. And I hit copy. And I'm going to rename that by touching the layer sign. Sliding down to rename. Clear. Balloon. See how it says balloon? Now look, it says balloon up there. Now let's go back. And we want to get this little mouse, and I'm just going to name that one package. Hit the plus sign again. And copy. 
bring it up over here, hide the balloon. Okay, and you hide by just touching that little eyeball in that key. See the little eye? You touch that. Okay, we've got the mouse. And then from there, you, you just hit so you get all your little layers. Okay, let's go back. And let's, I'm going to highlight the balloon since it's going to be inside. It won't matter. I'm not going to bring him up above. I'm going to delete him off here because I've already got the copy up there. Now, oop, we better hide that. Touch the eye. I want to touch the mouse. Highlight button. The little mouse with the package, I highlighted him. And the base of the card. And then I want to group it all together. 